Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike from Comp3 Interactive here, and today I've got something very different for you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to make a tile set in A Sprite and import it into Unity just to show you how easy it is. Now, I am by no means a professional pixel artist. This isn't going to look the greatest, but it'll show you just how easy it is to actually create a tile set. Now, I'm just going to let the video run in the background at uh, triple speed, and I'll just give a few pointers on what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Right, so I'm going to start off. I'm using a 16 by 16 grid. And I start by just adding a basic square. This is going to be the edges of our grass. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to distort the edges slightly so they're not perfectly straight. So I'm going to start with the four corners first. Just add a few little blades of grass here and there. And then I go on to the four edges. Not too much, just taking it in by one or two pixels at a time and then adding that lighter green colour to the inside edge. Now if you take note, the start and end pixels on each little cell of the grid, uh, they're equal to each other, they're on the same level as each other. That's because when we want to loop this, we'll get a seamless loop. Now you can see I'm just going in with some highlights on the inner edge, just adding a few blades of grass going the opposite way, just to give it that bit of depth. And then I'm going in with an even lighter shade of green, just to accentuate those blades of grass. Just add those little bits where the sun's just getting a little bit much, a little bit more light on them. So that looks about good for the edge of the grass. Now I'll jump in again in each cell and I'm just going to add in a few tiny blades of grass using the darker green. Just breaks up that uh, solid green look to it. And then we'll jump over to our three completely empty spaces. Now these are just going to be used for solid grass sections. So I'll leave one empty and add some blades of grass on the other two. Now I'm just going to extend the canvas and we'll make a few more of these. Uh, I'm going to start by adding some leaves or uh, weeds, whatever you want to know them as, and putting a little bit of a shadow underneath it. Now I'll duplicate this, flip it round and copy it into a few more of the cells just to give a bit of a, bit of a varied look. And we'll just add a few blades of grass into these ones as well. Now for these bottom two, I'm going to colour in a few flowers just for, again, a little bit of variation. Put a shadow underneath the flowers. and finish it off with a few more blades of grass. Now what I'm doing here, I'm going around the outside line of the edges of the grass and I'm doing this because when we overlay this on top of another object, which in this instance is going to be the dirt, we want a bit of a shadow, so I'm going to drop that opacity down to about, well just less than half, and then we'll add some dirt in three more cells. So we'll expand that out. And we'll just paint in a really basic dirt texture. So we're just going to use a couple of single pixels. In the bottom one, we're going to add some rocks, some stones, Thank you. 
add a bit of a shadow to that and some highlights and we'll just add a few more dots and a few into the top one just a couple in the top one though and that's the palette done so we'll open up unity and we'll just start drawing using the tile palette add-on for unity we'll draw a solid green block we'll cut out some areas and put our edging around it Now we'll just spice things up with a little bit of variation with all the different types of grass that we designed. And then finally we'll throw in the dirt underneath. And there we have it, there's our tile set. Really simple to create, really simple to use. And I'll throw a link to my itch page where I'll just put this up for free. Feel free to use it or use it as reference. I know it's not the greatest, but it's free. What do you expect? If you've learned something today, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.